Lucky Luke rides again. Lucky Luke, born to ride. Misty, come here. Come here. Here. I'll see you later. Ah, oh, I love my dog. Well, lads, how are things? I'm back again with vlog number three. And that's tree, T-H-R-E-E, -E, not tree, like the trees that are surrounding me. So don't fucking rip the piss out of the way I pronounce the word tree. Um, this could be an interesting one to start with because this junction is a fucking disaster, so I could get smashed. I'm gonna go straight. He kind of just said, alright, that guy's going right anyway, so I'll have to wait for him. It usually is a lot worse than this. I'm past the white line as well, so... I couldn't care less because you can't see otherwise. You need to have like a... Some kind of... Um, one of those little mirror things you can see around corners. There should be one of those there. That junction is a fucking disaster. Oh, I got a dog. Oh, shit. Uh, don't go next to me. Holy fucking shit. It's like a game of chicken with a dog. So yeah, thanks to everyone that uh, liked and commented and subscribed on the old video where I did the Ring of Kerry. Appreciate that and hope you enjoyed it. As for today, I'm not sure. I don't have anything planned of where I'm going. I'm just gonna might just take a little ride around. Oh, they did up this road. This road is usually fucking shit. Oh, it's actually so good since they did up this road. Ah, oh, here we go. It starts to get shit again, I knew it. Uh, typical Ireland. Let's fucking widen half of it and then just... Uh, we'll give up around this spot there. Fuck the rest of the road. Funny story about this road actually before driving down it in the car. There was these lads here playing, uh... Bulls? Bulls, I think it's called, or bowls, or bowls. I'm not sure what it is, but it's essentially, it's like a game where you toss... I really don't know. I'm probably just gonna make this up. Um, I'll look it up and find out if I'm right, but you kind of toss a metal ball or something and you see you can get it the farthest. I'm not too sure to be honest, but these lads just had their van parked across the road and they were like, they stopped me from driving down. They were like, oh, it's this guy's shot. You can drive when he's done. And I was like, okay. So I was like fucking stopped. It was so weird. Windmill, windmill, fought us something, 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 something. Don't know the words of this song now, but I can't sing it. Don't stop it, I get it, something stupid rap verse. Da, 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 da. <laughs> now, any of you bike heads out there, by the way, that, uh, that have good knowledge of, uh, maintenance and stuff like that in relation to the bike because I, I'm new to it I mean I'm learning but there's still things that that you know something that'll be, doesn't feel right and I'm not sure what to do so the issue is with my clutch the actual handle here uh, where my left hand is it's really wobbly um, and I've been looking up online a lot of people saying you know mine moves up half an inch or whatever and it does and it's not I'm not sure if it's causing that much of a problem. I just feel like it's not as it's not shifting gears as smoothly as it usually did before. And this is actually a new clutch because, uh, well, the story has it that uh, I bought the bike, and the lad I bought it off said he got a new clutch cable because it snapped on him. And I was like, alright, fair enough. At least I have a new clutch cable on the bike. And then about two weeks after having the bike, I did a trip to Cork up to visit my brother. And it was my first ever kind of long trip on the bike, so I was like kind of nervous, you know. It was about an hour and 90 minutes. Don't cross the road there. About an hour and 90 minutes on the road. And, you know, it went well. But, uh, I mean, it was my first time kind of driving on a dual carriageway as well. It wasn't a motorway, but it was my first time going that fast with cars around me, you know. And it went fine until literally, I'd say about 100 yards, if even from my brother's house. Um, there's a tiny little roundabout, and there was this car right up my hole. So I was kind of panicking, you know, he's really close, and I downshifted. 
when I was way too high in, in the fucking revs and I just heard a pop and my clutch cable was just dangling and I knew straight away it was the clutch cable was snapped so I got a fix since then which was maybe about four weeks ago now and it's still kind of uh, I mean it's not still kind of bad I mean, it was fixed it was fine it felt great but ever since I've come back from doing the ring um, it feels kind of um, oh come on man Jesus Christ it feels kind of uh, alright this roundabout is a fucking disaster because people just don't understand the routes of the road let's give way to traffic on your right so just go oh my dear god this is actually painful I know you'll go when you can't give it that's fair enough bet is to just fucking go for it there. Which yeah, it doesn't quite feel right, it just feels a bit wobbly. I'm not sure if to explain it, like I can push it back out a bit, about half an inch, in about half an inch. It's kind of not, it's not even engaging there, it's kind of just wobbly and it goes up and down a bit. And I'm not quite sure what it is to be honest with you. Um, I've read online people are saying, oh you need to tighten a bolt and blah blah blah, but I don't really fancy uh, going at it. In case I tighten something fucking wrong or some shit like that. So this is the town of Tralee. Will I go through town? Fuck it, I will. I'll take a right and go through town for the crack. I immediately regret this decision. I'm not sure about other towns, but here lights and right of ways don't mean anything. There's GameStop. Home of all your video games for ridiculously high prices. This is the town itself. I mean, I like it. It's a nice town. Does the trick. Has the shops. Has the pubs. Has the fucking crack, which is all you really want. In a town. And that's just to fucking park anywhere. Oh look, I need to get money out of the ATM. I can fucking park anywhere I want. That's, that's, that's what that is right there. Church bells ringing, that get fucking scared the shit out of me. I think it's right now, it's, it's when uh, it's, uh, it's when I've been using the clutch even more now, it feels even more loose. Um, I'm not actually sure what that's about. I mean, I have my test soon, so I reckon I'm just gonna give it into a garage anyway, just to ask him if there's anything that I that he could do up just before the test to make sure the bike's all grand, you know, before the test. Um, so yeah, I'll give that to him and just maybe ask for me, I don't know, oil and filter, hasn't been changed in oil. Uh, maybe brake pads, I'm not sure the brakes feel fine, but just maybe just have a look at them. And just a clutch issue, because it's fucking annoying, I mean, it's not, I know it's not, but I don't know it's not, it might be causing fucking damage, but I don't know. That's the annoying part, so, yeah. The bike still works, that's the main thing. Past the IT Tralee, which is of course the Institute of Technology Tralee, which is the town. Um, funny story about the IT Tralee, it used to be called Tralee Institute of Technology. So of course the abbreviation was TIT, and they had to change it to IT Tralee. I'm not sure if that's the real reason, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the contributing factors. Hey man, where do you go to college? Oh, I'm in tit. Oh, sweet. I love tits. Oh my god, this is going to be so fucking windy. I can actually... It's not just wind noise, it's fucking literal wind hitting against me. I don't have any windscreen. Uh, what, are your, what are your guys' opinions on this? I mean, I've seen a few of them on sports bikes that are fucking tiny and like they look like they do nothing unless they're in a really like aggressive position, which I don't ride in on this because it's more of a fucking cruiser kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, what, do you, what is your 
opinion on windscreens and I know I mean even though they are small some people say the smallest thing to make a difference you know just get a fucking like it's to just deflect the wind a tiny bit it might just make a small bit of a difference so do you guys any if you guys know any windshields that have fit the, the super four let me know I'm going left because I want to practice my U-turns in this car park. That's the word I was looking for. I'm always just come here to practice the uh, U-turns and shit because I need to practice for the test. Let's give this U-turn a go. Hopefully not crash my bike. That wasn't too bad. It took it a bit wide though. I think it's just the whole thing of being a new learner, you're like, look, you feel like, oh god, if I go so slow, the whole thing's gonna collapse, but, I mean, once the wheels are moving, the bike's not gonna fucking fall. Um, that's way too wide. Blah. I think the funniest thing is here is just people watching me go in circles in a fucking car park. That wasn't too bad. But I think it's more so about the, uh, the observations he wants you to do, and look around. Oh, this would be a fucking hilarious video if I crashed in a goddamn car park. Alright, I'm gonna do one more and then try in the curbed area. Alright, sweet. We're about to try it here. Ugh, I hate speed bumps. So let's say it's a curb, I have to do a U turn. Sweet. Yeah, I think you should kind of lean your body as well. Here I am giving myself tips on how to fucking U turn to all you guys who probably have been doing it for years and know what to do. Yeah, I'm happy enough. There's Nancy Miles Pub. Oh, it's closed down. Fair enough. Oh man, this this road actually, this is not a road that uh, brings back good memories on from being on two wheels. It's actually a bicycle. Um, oh, I'm not sure what you, if you ride bar, you know what that is? If you give somebody a lift on a bike where they sit across the bar. Brother was giving me a lift, like I was on his bike. And he was cycling, and he was giving me, like, he was driving me, basically, not driving me, cycling me, bicycling me towards, uh, towards, uh, football training. Yeah, no, he was, uh, I was sitting on the bar of the bike, he was cycling, and you kind of sit, you don't sit your legs, like, uh, out, you kind of sit them, uh, like, you sit both legs to one side, so I was sitting on the bike, and being the fucking moron I am, I was letting my, letting my feet swing, because I was like, woo, so fun, you know? And I have football boots on as well, so, like, big studs, and I basically swung my foot back, pushed my foot straight in through the spokes of the front wheel of the bike. I uh, surprised I didn't break anything, but the bike just went whoop and like literally flipped. We both flipped. I, I not so much. I just kind of fell forward onto the ground. I was like, ah. But my brother, in fairness to him, was scared that he was going to land on me because I was young at the time. He was like, oh shit. So we like did a big fucking jump. And like he jumped over me as well as falling off and made fucking shit of himself. Like he wasn't broken anything, but he cut himself up pretty badly and his bicycle was pretty fucked as well. And the worst part is people like, this guy like was behind us in a car and just watched it happen and kind of just shook his head and drove over and I was like, what a fucking dickhead. And another guy came up to me because like my brother was freaking out at me. He was like, you fucking idiot, my bike. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, the girl came up, she was like, you all right? Oh my God. But oh man, I mean, that's kind of one of the moments you wish you had a fucking GoPro on or somebody was, somebody was filming it or something because it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, see, it's that kind of shit there now because I was holding my clutch in for a fucking really long time there. And now it feels really loose. Like, proper, proper loose. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, do 
most of you guys go into neutral at the lights. I mean, I was looking up different things about that actually, you know, should I stay in neutral in the lights? People are saying like, you know, it's, it's kind of 50-50. Most people are like, look, you should stay in neutral, blah, 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 that's what you're told. But then other people were like, no, you should stay in first in case if there's like a situation arises where you need to get away quickly. Like, let's say a car is going to rear-end you or essentially you just need to get away. If somebody's going to fucking run and knife you and shout Allahu Akbar at you while he's doing it, I mean, you need to be in first gear to get away from that shit. So, yeah, leave a comment. What do you do? Do you stay in, in gear? The subway does not look very open. Jokes on all of you. I'm actually going to a dry cleaner. Spotless. Nah, nah, I go to subway. Fuck that. I think I just punched my camera. <laughs> I'm gonna get a subway and I rejoin you then. I've got my subway. And the aim of the game now is to get home as quickly as possible so it doesn't get cold. Because there's nothing worse. Well, there is. Probably is stuff worse than a cold subway, seeing as some people eat their subway cold. But not me, I'm afraid. Not me. Another thing that you might be wondering is why I always go down to kick up my kickstand is because it doesn't quite go up fully when I just use my foot, so it's, it's quite annoying. I mean, the light goes off, but I still don't trust it that it's down fully just in case, you know, I'm cornering a bend and I need to fucking... Uh, if the kickstand's down, you know, pretty much fucked. My shit better not get cold. My shit better not get. Oh, there's the old blue Subaru. Does it have gold alloys? Of course it does. The old fucking farmer's Ferrari. Man, it's, I actually don't think I could pick an uglier car if I tried. Well, I could, I could, but I mean, a, an uglier car that people actually think is nice looking. Because you know there's fucking ugly cars that you see and everyone's like, geez, that's an ugly car. But then you have those fucking Subarus. And I, is it custom? Like, do they come with the gold allies? And everyone's like, oh man, I love your Subaru. And I'm like, no, it's, it's fucking shit. Oh, this hill, man. This also brings back memories of being on two wheels and hating it. I used to have to cycle up this when I was, like, in school. And Jesus Christ, man, like... Those in Ireland didn't understand, you know, first year you got about 15 books. Your bag weighs about a ton and you have it on your back and you're cycling up a hill and it's just... It's a disaster, man. I remember literally getting home from school and be sweating. I was like, ah, oh, why did I cycle? Why didn't I just motorcycle? Well, it's probably because I didn't have one back then. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog where I started it. Just coming up to that junction. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Well, that made no fucking sense. Well, I hope, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. Disliked it if you think I'm shit. And so yeah, all the best lads and I'll see you on the next one.